There are numerous ways to go about building an app. You'll need to determine if the project you have in mind is a good fit for the method that you'll be learning about in this course. Your app is a good fit if you're building a content-rich app. By this I mean an app whose main value is in its text, video, or audio content. Yes, you can include InDesign interactivity such as buttons, menus, scrolling items, and overlays, but this method isn't a good fit for highly interactive content like games, shopping apps, or apps that need to connect to a database. This method is a good fit if you want to use InDesign to author all of your content and screens, and if you don't want to do any programming. This method is great for producing an app on the cheap, but you need to be able to accept some limitations. There are some things that you can't do with this method, like connect with the mobile device's camera or GPS. You can't really create content that's responsive using this method. So you may need to design multiple screens for different device sizes. This method isn't appropriate for content that changes frequently, such as a monthly periodical. The only way to change the content in the app with this method is to release a new version of the app to the App Store. There's no way to automatically push new content into the app. So this method is great for creating interactive travel guides, how-to apps, instructional guides, interactive annual reports, and more. A word of warning. The Apple App Store is strictly curated. Apple decides which apps are allowed in and which are rejected. They have a history of rejecting apps that are too book-like, which is pretty subjective. Their position is that if your content is a book, it should be released as an EPUB on the iBook Store instead of an app on the App Store. At any rate, you should carefully read Apple's App Store review guidelines to determine if there is anything else about your content that Apple might have a problem with. Apps on Google Play and the Windows Store aren't curated, so there are no such restrictions for apps in those marketplaces. It's well worth it to take the time to be certain your idea for an app is a good fit for this process. Once you've determined this, the next step is to begin creating your app screens.